Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Garage Tales. Today we've got something different, it's the first tool review on the channel, the first of many I hope, and um, sadly, and at the same time fortunately, I had to get a new torque wrench. My old torque wrench has failed, it's not clicking reliably anymore, it's not accurate as it should be, so I don't trust it anymore, and had to get a new one. And as you've already seen in the title, it's a Halford's torque wrench. Now I should start by saying this is not a sponsored video. I bought this torque wrench as I needed it. And uh, here it is. So I've decided to divide this video into three, three parts, trying to think exactly what would interest me in a torque wrench. So the first thing is, how does it look? How does it feel? How does it click? Is it nice? Because I like nice tools. I like all kinds of tools. The second part is, is it accurate? And the third part is, is it reliable? Is it dependable? So, let's have a look at it. Uh, first thing I'd like to say is, as soon as I saw this on the website and I seen it as I walked past them in the store, I was planning on knocking this, this box. I mean, it just looks cheap and flimsy. But now that it's in my hand, it doesn't really look that bad. I like it, it's different. I mean, you would expect to see something like this usually. But I pretty much like this box and I'm I'm assuming they intended you to throw this box away and just use the, the foam inside to keep it in your toolbox drawer. But um, I'm probably going to keep both, as I usually do. And it's quite nice, you have to twist it a bit to open it and pull it out. And let's have a um, the first look at the torque wrench. Nice, it's looking pretty nice. So why did I choose a Halford's torque wrench? I mean it's not very cheap, I paid £85 for it. Uh, there are definitely cheaper alternatives out there, like the previous one I had, but again I wanted something a bit more dependable, something with lifetime warranty, and uh, something accurate. And as you may already know, Halfers doesn't make tools, Some someone else makes it for them. And in this case, you may be wondering who actually makes the torque wrench. Well, I've done some research, and it seems like Norbar are making the tor torque wrenches for Halfords, the Halfords Advanced ones. And yeah, they're definitely a good brand, expensive, but uh, very good torque wrenches. So that gave me more faith in this one. And also, a second reason is I've had other Halfords tools, and they all served me well. I've broken a few, and they were replaced without any questions or hassle. Just go into the store, and they'll give you a new one. So. All of these combined made me think it's worth paying the extra money for, for this torque wrench. So yeah, let's have a look at it. Now I'd be lying if I said this is the first time I see it. I actually took it out of the box as soon as I bought it because I couldn't help it. But it's a very nice looking tool. It's pretty nicely finished. I mean on the plastic there are some edges from molding it. But uh, again you probably wouldn't expect to see them on the more expensive tools but this is still pretty much a budget torque wrench it's um, pretty nice i like the way it's set up you just uh, pull this out you adjust it it's pretty easy push it back in once you get to your desired uh, torque the scale is pretty easy to read you may think it's a bit small but you also have the little numbers here you just turn this and it's really easy to get to the torque you want much easier then on one of these where you have to twist it and to my eyes the lines never, never seem to perfectly line up so yeah i'm happy with it i can live with the, the small plastic imperfections and yeah it's nice some of the features yeah the easy adjustment the very nice locking compared to the old one i had where you had to unscrew this to unlock it and also as you see here you can only use this to tighten tighten things to torque but if you want to use it on left hand threads or maybe want to use it to undo things like for instance uh, if you want to take out glow plugs and you don't want to break it you set a certain torque so you don't put too much force on them how do you do that well you flip it over see the arrow is the other side and you just push the square through so the square goes either way so you can use this either to tighten things or undo things or tighten left hand threads which is very good what else do we get in the box? Well, we get the nice foam insert. It's okay, it's not terrible. It would sit nicely in your drawer, just with the torque wrench if you want to get rid of the box. Which is pretty nice. And we get a nice little pouch, very nicely made, which contains instructions and declaration of conformance. Let's see what's inside. Let's 
So pretty easy to read, easy to follow instructions. Nothing too complicated, quite short. It's very nice. And a decoration of conformance, which you would say it's made exactly for this torque wrench. It's not a general thing you would expect. These are readings from this actual torque wrench, which are all within the claimed plus or minus 3% error, which is very good. It says here on the bottom, torque, the torque measurement device has a maximum relative measurement error of less than less or equal than 1%. So that's very good. We are gonna try and uh, verify that a bit later in the video. So yeah, I think that concludes the first point. I don't think I missed anything. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with spending 85 pounds so far. One other thing I like to try out is hear it click. So we'll do that as well. So I've got an adapter in my tiny vise. I can just uh, put the torque wrench in it and I've got it to the lowest setting, 10 newton meters. And let's see how, how it clicks. So this is an accuracy test, it's just um, how it feels, and it feels very nice. Let's go up to 20 newton meters. Still a very nice positive feel to it. We're at 50 newton meters now. Still very good. Let's go all the way to 60. So yeah, I would say that feels pretty good. It's a nice positive click and it's definitely not something you're gonna miss. So let's get to the second part of the video. Is it accurate? Well, we've already looked through the certificate of conformance. It seems to be. And uh, one thing you should do with torque wrenches is have them checked yearly, at least, depending on how, how much you use them. And uh, I don't have any equipment. You see people trying on YouTube with doing it with scales, pulling on the end, but then you ask yourself, how accurate is your scale? So I'm not going to do any of that. I take my torque wrenches to be checked yearly. So I'm going to take this, have it inspected, and see how close it is to the values in the certificate. That should be interesting to see. And uh, that's about it. So I'm going to post a graph of the actual set values and how much it actually reads on the test equipment. Now, for the last part of the video, is it reliable? Well, it doesn't really matter because it's got a lifetime warranty. And I spoke to the very helpful gentleman at the store and he said, whatever issues I have with it, they will replace it. So for instance, like my other one, it's not clicking reliably anymore. They will just give me a new one. So based on that, I would say, yes, it is reliable. It's made by a good known brand. It feels sturdy. So yeah, I have no issues in trusting this. But if you see this video was posted, I don't know, weeks, months, years ago, whatever, feel free to ask in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you and see if I still have this torque wrench, I still use it, and if it's still accurate. Something else which is relevant and I believe worth mentioning regarding the reliability and accuracy of your torque wrench is the way you use it, the way you handle it, and the way you store it. So you may already be aware of these things, but just uh, it's probably worth saying them again. This is not your average ratchet. This is a precision instrument and should be treated with more care and respect. You don't use this to wind up bolts, you avoid it if you can. You just use this to take them to their final torque, which is what I usually do. And also you should be careful never to drop this because it could uh, decalibrate it among other damage that may occur, cracks in the plastic housing or other stuff like that. Once it clicks, you should never try to force it past that. You should just let it click and you've got your desired torque and that's it. And also when you store it, it's a good idea to always store it completely relaxed. So if you use it at, let's say 40 Newton meters, you don't leave it there, you just unwind it back before you put it in the box that uh, just releases the tension off the spring inside and helps it stay calibrated. And it's also worth mentioning that you should take these to have them checked once a year. And I believe that concludes this review. I'm fairly pleased with it. I don't regret spending the money on it. 
but obviously these are more first impressions so now comes the real test which is using it to work on my actual projects so i realized i went through the entire video and i don't think i've said one negative thing about the store crunch apart from the small comment on the edges on the plastic housing and to be completely honest i can't really think of any negative bits about it i mean it's often difficult it's often difficult to complain about something when you spend money on it because you like to convince yourself as well as others that you made a good good choice so that may be the case here but to be completely honest i'm pretty happy with it there's not much i can complain about but if i do think of something i'll um, update the description or leave it down in the comments thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing See you next time.